Hi, and welcome to Hammer's Hacks, brought to you by Gold Tip Arrows and V-Singer Stabilizers. I'm your host, Tim Gellingham, and on each episode, I'll give you a simple tip, something that you probably didn't even consider that will help you become a better archer in bow hunting. Hey, everybody, Tim Gillingham here with Hammer's Hacks. I got another tip for you uh, for bow hunting that uh, you want to make sure you're doing in your setup. This is something I learned the hard way. And I just want to impart that knowledge onto you. So a few years ago, I took a, a few guys bow hunting from Sweden. We were going elk hunting and uh, I built them all setups, um, had them practice all summer. And when they got here, I actually wasn't ready with my own setups. We were, I bought a bunch of Ramcat broadheads. Um, I fletched all their arrows exactly like this here with a four fletch 2.5 inch vein. And I had left helical them, left offset them. And the reason for left offset, and it's kind of a fad right now, and it's something maybe you want to take into consideration is uh, if you take a bare shaft and shoot it out of your bow, you want to discover which way it naturally wants to turn. Well, most bows are going to want to turn to the left. So it's only logical that we want to turn the arrow in the direction it wants to go rather than fight it. I don't think it's a huge deal whether you go left or right, frankly, but this is one thing that you do want to avoid. So while these guys were in my shop here shooting, I went out and was trying to site my setup up. And I went out to a hundred yards with these Ramcat broadheads and these four fletch, you know, veins that had always worked awesome for me. And I shot a group like this at 100. I was just like, what the hell just happened? I have no idea. And then I got to thinking about it as if you look at the Ramcat broadheads, they're much like this NAP head here. Okay. The blades are angled. So the blades, blades are offset on the actual broadhead, which is making the broadhead want to spin also. And so what I had is a broadhead wanting to spin to the right and the fletchings that were wanting to spin to the left. And I just created this giant knuckleball. So in a panic, uh, Grim Reaper is just a few miles from the house. And I've always had really good luck with this, you know, Hades head that they have. This one's missing the collar, but I just grabbed one now to show you. Now this broadhead, has always flown exceptionally well for me, but the blades are perfectly straight, okay? So now this is going to give 100% of the control to the vein side of the arrow. So keep that in mind. You know, I have tried uh, other broadheads with uh, helical, like a, a right offset broadhead with a right helical fletching. And the first time I tried that, I thought it was a remarkable advantage because I, I would plane off a lot less. But what I discovered in, in more tuning was if you did not have the twist ratio on the front of the arrow exactly the same as the rear, the two would fight each other to a lesser degree than, say, a, a, a vein going left and a broadhead going right, but they would still fight each other. So I think it's important if you're going to shoot fixed blade broadheads that you pick a broadhead that has straight blades so, and then offset your your veins to do this to control and the spin. So just keep that in mind. Don't mix the two, and I think you're going to have exceptionally good results. I've always found that four fletch patterns allow me to get much much better control with fixed blade broadheads, especially, and also, you know, large diameter arrows like these. 30x and triple x arrows you know they have kind of the same characteristics they have large surface area this broadhead has a large planing surface it's just basically like putting veins on the front of an arrow we put veins on the rear of the arrow to control it well when you put veins on the front of the arrow it controls it also so this one here has to over correct what that one out there is doing so um i think if you'll try some of those things you'll find the same results so that's Hammer's Hex. Keep them in the middle. Hey, before you go, there's some great ways to keep getting even more info and tips. Subscribe to Gold Tip Archery Ops Podcast to hear my conversation with top experts in archery and bow hunting. You can also check out Gold Tip on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening. And always start tough and stay true out there.